Hey guys, Lapod Kravikin here, and today's going to be my re review of the Incipio Hive for the Apple iPod Touch 4G. Now, for those of you viewers that have been with me since the beginning, you know that I already did an Incipio Hive for the iPod Touch 4G review. Now, why am I doing a re review? Well, that's simply because before the camera was horrible, I didn't know much about the case, and I didn't know how to edit, and I really didn't know how to clean up the videos to make them much better. And I really feel that this case deserves a new and better way of presenting I guess you could say. So this is just going to be my re-review. I'm going to tell what I like and don't like about the case because I, I might do this for my other cases since it's a spec candy shell and uh, switch easy colors and all those because same thing I didn't do a great review, my camera was bad, etc etc. So uh, you know hold with me with this review. I also don't have that many case reviews. I actually reviewed all of them and I haven't reviewed a case in months. So this is going to kind of be my re-review of it, you know, <laughs> practice for my other cases that I may be reviewing in the future. But that's about it, guys, and we're going to get right on the view right now. So along with the case, you also get two screen protectors, crystal clear and anti-glare. You get a squeegee, and you get a microfiber wipe as well in this package. So normally when I do silicone case reviews, I stay what kind of silicone is before I actually get into the review part of the video. And this out of my three, which is velvety soft, tacky, and firm, stiff, and dense. And, you know, kind of the neutral, rubbery kind of silicone. And that's what this is. There's no really meaning for it. I, I kid didn't really find one out yet. But this is what it is. It's more rubber, and I really like this um, more than velvet. You think I like velvet more, but actually this is I really like, I prefer, uh, in my opinion, because with velvet, it's nice at first, it feels amazing at first, like the Switch Easy Colors, that feels amazing in the inside, but actually when you get into use it, you know, it touches water, it touches wear in your pocket lint, it turns into that nasty, tacky kind of silicone that, you know, it tracks the lint, and it's not great, so that kind of, you know, velvetiness wears off after a while, and it turns into that tackiness. Not always, but mostly the times it does without some, you know, general wear and tear. And this it stays the same, you know, throughout the whole time. As you can see, it is very stiff. It's very, you can barely stretch it. But it is very nice. It's very grip um, grippy. That's the thing I like about the, these kind of silicone. You can easily form the type of case, I guess. And it is also very grippy. It's very nice and it's very stiff, it's very dense, it's very all that kind of good stuff that I think a silicone case should be. So as far as silicone case, A+. Plus. Finally, I'm just going to give you guys a quick tour of the case before I actually slip it on the iPod Touch. Now this is going to be a very brief one. I'm going to go over the major features of the case when I actually slip it on. But here we go. Is well, first thing that will catch your eyes is the unique design. As you can see, it is made to aid your gaming performance. So we'll have that uniqueness, that gripperiness, which is those hive patterns, and obviously the buffs at the end. Greatly on table design, great silicone like I previously stated in my night, um, past clip. <laughs> in the inside, is very nice, very, uh, you know, as you can see, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, you have that little Incipio logo. Oh, you know, all open here, you know, big camera hot cut, you don't need to worry about, you know, your camera getting scratched or anything, it's like that deep, actually, so that's always good. Now, like I said, I told you guys it was brief, but we're just going to slip this on and get to the major deets. Right here, it's very easy, all I have to do is slip it in the bottom, and then wrap every side on. So now it is fully installed. As you can see, it looks great. It may not be the most attractive case to some people, but like I said, this is made for gaming, and as well, it does give amazing protection as well. As you can see, it does give great protection, like I just said, stated, because it does have that amazing shock protection. As you can see at the end, it is very, you know, huge. It's amazingly huge. It's very deep. As you can see, there's the line where the iPod Touch actually goes, and over it is that chunk, a huge chunky silicone that will protect it, as well as here's the lock button, right there, <laughs> it's amazing too, here on all four corners, so actually when a, when your iPhone actually drops your iPod, uh, it you think that it hit the face, or the back, or something like this, and actually when it drops, usually the first thing it hits is the corners, and I guess they kind of took that for granted and actually put this and implemented it into the case, so when it actually bounced, um, you know, hits the uh, ground, it actually just bounces off the case, boom, 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 and then that big chunky lay on the table design will take care of that part. 
And I'm not sure if they wanted to do that. Mainly this case is for gaming and they probably just implemented that to make it, you know, bigger buffs here. As you can see, like that is a little bit, you know, raised on the sides so it can aid your game performance. Like as you can see, this hand goes in and it fits very well. It fits amazingly on this. I mean, playing Angry Birds with that nice uh, matte fin. No, not matte. Yeah, that matte screen protector is amazing because your finger glides well on it. And with this case, it is... 10 times funner. Uh, not literally, probably 2 or 3. But either way, guys, gaming is much better. It's much amazingly funner on this as well. Guys, this case has amazing protection. Now, one thing, I, one thing I really, you know, a little small thing, not really because this is definitely one that is, you know, a very big plus in my eyes. When, when the iPod Touch is naked, as you can see, as you probably know, iPod Touch users, the volume buttons on it, if you can see, they are recessed. And when I actually press the volume button normally, I have to dig back and then access it there. With this case, I don't know what they did or whether they're trying to do this or they just, you know, <laughs> forgot about it. But I actually, as you can see, is completely on it. I mean, it's on the side. It's not a little bit dipped back. It's completely on it. So pressing volume buttons, I mean, I don't need to reach back. I can press it. You know, it's a little bit harder. You know, it's not perfect, but it definitely is, you know, good. I'm pressing on the side, as you can see. It's doing that. And the lock button is even easier. Just press on top. You can hear that click, hopefully. And it makes the pressing of all buttons so much easier. As you can see on the bezel, it has like a little half, um, one third of the way down, and all here is about half the way down. Makes the um, home button very, very easy to press. No complaints. This is one of the cases that I really don't have many complaints about. The uh, the silicone, like I said, is that kind of my favorite kind of silicone. It's very grippy and it has that nice hive pattern. One thing that may happen to you, sorry if the camera's a little black here. Uh, one thing that may happen to you is that lint may catch in here. There's yeah, there's some lint and catch it in there. Nothing really, I don't know why you'd have this complaint. Maybe if you have very linty jeans and you're slipping in, in and out and in and out, they may say a little bit more. But you know, a microfiber will do that. It is a little bit harder to get out to since it is in the corners. No really big deal though. And here, like I said uh, in the very beginning, that is a huge chunk of silicone there. So you know, nothing's going to happen when you, you know, drop in and things you get in there. This case is a super tight fit. It's amazingly tight. I mean, everything you can like, you know, that does happen with all silicone cases, but not much of it. Very, very amazing. So overall, guys, this is one of those cases where I barely have any complaints, and it's really one of guys amazing case. One of my favorite, obviously, probably definitely in my top three. That's about it, guys. Definitely recommend this case. I give it a 9.5 out of 10, just because you know all those little ones and barely any ones I stated, such as you know lint tracking in here. It does leave some hive imprints right there, if you can see right there. Not a big deal, and I really you know a microfiber will get those very easily but you know 9.5 of 10 definitely recommend that case 20 25 bucks is where you can find at various stores and you know places may can even find it for 15 off you know walmart and amazon that kind of stuff that's about it guys amazing case hope you enjoyed this review if you did like it and subscribe above to be notified when i post a new video that's about it guys i bought king and i will catch you guys in the next one